All right, guys, I wanted to go over a couple things, just kind of general stuff about the Anubis that you should know during the build and uh, kind of how I go about setting up an airplane uh, and during the build process where to locate everything on the airplane. First thing I do is I build the airplane from uh, the whole bottom end, so everything sits flat on the table, and uh, you can do all of your bracing this way, and it allows you to get everything really nice and straight, and then... So after, after the bottom of the airplane is all framed up, I go through and install the aileron servo um, and also the motor and speed controller combination. So basically you've got um, this part here would just be sticking up above the flat fuselage and the whole top fuse of the rudder is still off. So at that point uh, I go through and I either mount the elevator servo, in this case I mounted the elevator servo next, um, and I thought this was going to come out more tail heavy than it did. So I was planning on having the elevator servo here and the rudder servo here and the battery here to keep everything nice and short and tight, but uh, it came out more nose heavy than I thought. So I ended up moving the aileron, or the rudder servo back here. That's the reason for the magnet wire on that. Uh, I was just trying to keep this build pretty much as stock as possible, but I couldn't bring myself to put uh, a longer regular pigtail wire on there. So that's just uh, three pieces of uh, magnet wire ran up and I just kind of tack soldered it to the pins on the receiver instead of using a plug because it came in uh, just over a hundred grams and well I couldn't let that happen so <laughs> um, that, so the next thing you do is after laying out the elevator servo and the motor speed controller receiver pretty much everything I go through and I stick the top fuse on and go ahead and attach that and glue everything in place hinge the rudder put all the SFGs and air brakes on, and uh, basically have everything done except for the rudder servo. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to get the perfect CG, which I'll, I'll give you guys in a little bit here, um, with you know a minimal amount of wire for the battery, uh, minimal amount of wires for the, the primary servos here, and keep everything as tight and as uh, neat as possible. So after doing that, I've lay everything out with the CG and um, you know basically just position the rudder servo accordingly or the elevator servo accordingly and after building a couple you get a you get a feel for how everything lays out and it becomes a little easier uh, so that's that's kind of the steps in the process for just to give you a, a general idea of how to start building this aircraft <laughs> 